Well, there's a lot to be thankful for today, but one veteran from Levittsburg is especially thankful for his life. First News reporter Keely Loverin made has more on his story and where he's headed in the special way he plans to say thanks. I wanted to do something uh, just for your country. And when I got drafted, kind of like said, okay, now it's time to go ahead and do what you want to do. For Joseph Bateman, that something was joining the Marines at just 22 years old. And it was during his 11 months in Vietnam that his life changed forever. As soon as you know you're hit, you know, I mean, you can tell by the sound. Bateman was one of eight people that survived a helicopter crash. Twelve total passengers were on board when the aircraft was shot down by snipers. Now referred to as the Miracle 8, Bateman says it's an emotional memory. You just go down. You don't think about nothing. You're just going down and all you can think about when, when you land, what's going to happen? I mean, are you going to be able to get out of there or what? The accident earned Bateman a Purple Heart, but he also received the Navy Achievement Medal. It's one of the highest military honors for protecting his squad under fire and risking his own life to save theirs. As a Marine, you're always one. You're always a Marine. And I guess if something would happen tomorrow where they, you could do something, go back in and you, you go back in. And now at 70, Bateman will travel to Washington, D.C. on Saturday to lay a wreath at the tomb of the unknown soldier at Arlington National Cemetery. He says it's humbling, but he's really going to honor the ones that didn't make it that day. They paid the ultimate price. That was the ultimate price. In Levittsburg, Keely Lover, WKBN 27 First News.